All right, I got a package from UPS today. I think it's my first copy of a resin that I did oh, back in August. A sculpture, anyway. And uh, I explored the possibilities of having it done in resin, and uh, Karen at uh, Sculpture Depot uh, helped me with the uh, mold, and, uh, and then we uh, contacted a woman that does this professionally. Whoop, got popcorn in it. Anyway, whoop, I hate this stuff. No, I did it at home before I went down to Colorado to Loveland to, to uh, Sculpture Depot's store down there. <coughs> Put that over there. Out of the way. Oh, this popcorn just never goes away. Wow. See if I can get a light over this. Hold on a sec. That's the first copy in resin of my horse. Okay, I'll put this pillow behind it so you can see it a little bit better. Ah. Anyway, my first resin of the uh, clay that I did. Let's see how big this is. Um, there we go. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's uh, how long? It's about 11 inches long by nine and a half inches tall. Nice size. Anyway, I will be selling these, and uh, I think I've got the uh, final cost on producing it. I think I figured out what the bronze is going to cost, because I am getting a couple bronzes made, and they're $2,500 uh, with all the costs, and gallery costs, and everything else. So this is about, uh, well, a lot less. All right, I'll, I'll get a better video of it tomorrow, but I just wanted to have you see it. Uh, just uh, opening it up for the first time. really like the coloring on this. It gives it a kind of a real nice bronze color. And uh, it's beautiful. I think what I'll have to do is take it to the foundry, maybe have a, uh, get a base made for it because it is a little top heavy. But it does balance on that. And, Maybe I can just glue it to a piece of wood, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to get it tapped and and made for a, made a base for it. All right, everybody. See you later.